Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Monday. It's Daryl here. It's bright and freaking early. It's 5 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. I hadn't planned on making this video this early. I just downloaded my, my first video of the day um, about Bow of the Fifth Column, and I was going to wait till at least later this afternoon to make this video, but I had so much uh, thoughts on this, um, things I want to talk about. I'm making it now. I'm actually cutting into my workout time. Okay. Initially, th this video is about Bam Margera, but it's also about recovery and my recovery and things I've learned. Uh, let me start with Bam Margera. Is the latest news on Bam. Um, he did a music video, a rap music video. I'll have the link for this down below. And uh, in it, he's got a lot of gripes. He, he talks during the video. And he calls out Johnny Knoxville, Wee Man, uh, Steve-O, and he, I, I'm, you know, I'm trying to make out what he's saying. It's, it sounds like they, and, and a producer too, that did the Jackass movies. Um, he's calling them all out as, you know, saying, saying some, saying some crude, rough stuff, uh, blaming them for his career. He said he could have been an expert, expert skateboarder, and uh, the other guys can't skate for, for a hill of beans and uh, a lot of grapes, a lot of uh, sour grapes. He says something about how Johnny Knoxville knocked on his door, rang the bell or something, and Bam ran out of the house, and he stepped all over tax. I, I never really watched the show, so. And he said that ruined his best money makers, like his feet, I guess, for being a skateboarder. So he's got a lot of great gripes, a lot of resentment. And also in this video, he's sitting in a chair, and he's just making out there. Him and his present girlfriend, I guess, are making out, and he jumps up and he gets in the camera and stuff. And I, I, I don't want this video to come across preachy, like I'm putting down Bam. If anything, watching this video and reading this story, honestly, it, it makes me very grateful that I'm in recovery. Um, just some thoughts on this. So one of the, first, I'll talk about Bam, and then let me tell you about... I was going to make another video talking about recovery, and so one of the things I've learned... And let me talk about Bam first. Um, he says that getting his child back, is, uh, seeing his kid, getting his child back, is, it sounds like the number one concern in his life. And I watched this video, and he's talking about beating uh, Johnny Knoxville down and, you know, cursing and whatnot and, uh, you know, and then making out with the girl and everything. And as I watched this video, you know, the violence, the anger, uh, making out with the girl and everything. I'm thinking there's also the beginning of the song where the uh, one of the rappers is singing about uh, being in a, I, it wasn't, that's not a Chuck E. Cheese, or a, 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 he's saying something about being like in a, a family friends, a, fam, a family fun zone, and it, it's almost X-rated, if I'm making out the lyrics right. And I look at this video and I'm thinking to myself, how, how serious could Bam be about getting his kids back? You know, this this would not be the way. You know, how many people, you know, thousands, millions of people are going to watch this video. This is, you know, I, I, I seriously start to doubt if uh, he, how, how much he's how much he's still thinking. Uh, and if he really if that is one of his big concerns, getting his kids back. All right. I want to talk. I was going to do a video. Uh, something happened in my, my life last week. And I want to talk about that in a second. But. Another thing, like what I've learned in recovery is, uh, I was going to give you talk to about the 12 steps and everything, but I don't want to get preachy. I learned, and I've talked about this before, just you have to let things go. Like as an example, you know, in this video, he's angry, he's got resentment for Johnny Knoxville and his former partners, and he's just, he's seething. And I thought about what happened to me. I won't get all into it and everything, but when I was 11, 12, 13 years old, I was abused at the hands of uh, a, a policeman my mother's boyfriend, and he actually gave me weed and other stuff, and uh, I won't get too into it, but you have to let these things go, you know, I, I realized it's one of the things that, it's one of the things that led me to use the, the anger and the resentment, I mean, I mean, I still, I'm not, I can't say I'm angry at the guy anymore, I, I know he's, he is, uh, an, he was an evil person, and if there's a hell, he's there now. But you have to let that go. Um, and this is one of the things with you see Johnny, I mean, uh, with uh, Bam, he, he, you know, he still has this anger and resentment. It's the kind of thing that leads to using, you know, when you, you harbor that kind of anger in your life. 
Uh, I was going to talk about this. Uh, this was going to be a whole other video. Just recently, I've had some, I, I wouldn't even call it bad luck. Just things, ha things happen in, in life. You know, you get a bill for something you didn't buy. You get blamed for something you didn't do. I remember way back when I first started, when I was first in method, the method of maintenance, I got a false urine for a, fa a false positive. And uh, it came out, the, the, my counselor actually called me up the next day and, and apologized. I'm so sorry. I got the names backwards. I, somebody else, she, this is what she told me, that somebody else had the same name and a similar phone number. And I almost just started crying on the phone because I was so relieved. Um, I almost started feeling like I did something wrong. I had this idea when I first got into recovery. You know, I'm doing the right thing. I'm not lying. You know, um, I'm, everything, I'm, do, I'm living the way I should. So everything should go smoothly. You know, I shouldn't have any problems. And that was a mistake. That's, that's just not the case. And when that first happens, you start getting this idea in your head that, well, what's the point? You know, what, you know if I'm still going to get in trouble, if this, if this crap is still going to happen to me, what's the point of, you know, of being clean? Why, you know, just, just say, screw it. And you know, like I said, I learned that even though you're clean and sober and you're living right and not lying, bad things, things are going to happen. And you just have to let it go. And the main thing is not getting harboring resentment. Um, I wasn't going to talk about this because it's still going on. It's still an issue uh, right now. It just happened. It's, it's an ongoing issue that's happening right now in my family. And uh, I'm going to take a risk and talk about it. I don't want to make things worse. Okay. I have several bikes, mountain bikes. I have an older mountain bike that I use as a spare. And uh, so I have, I have two basic ones, my, my new one I use all the time and the spare one. And I was thinking about buying another new one. I, I brought the spare into the bike shop and the bike shop owner, I've been going to him for years, very dependable, just one guy shop. He's getting older. Uh, he's probably up in his 60s, in his 70s, maybe even 80s. And he's, I've always depended on him. He's done a great job. So I brought the spare bike in there and I asked him to fix the spokes. Uh, one of the key, one of the derailleur cables, and to replace the brakes, and this was like a hundred dollars. And I also put a brand new pair of tires on it for one hundred fifty dollars. So a total, I sunk into this bike for two hundred fifty dollars, and I got it back. And I started thinking, you know what? My family has done such, so much for me. I, I feel like I owe them a debt. Of, uh, I, I should show them some appreciation. So I decided. I started thinking, well, it'd be one of one of my family members is interested in cycling. So I decided to just give this bike away and maybe buy another new bike for myself down the line. Even though I had just sunk like $250 into this bike, I thought it'd be a nice, a, you know, a nice thing to do. And uh, so I tried the bike out. I got it back from the bike shop. I tried it out around the parking lot a little bit to, to see if the back wheel was straight. As I wheeled it out, I wasn't on it, but I, I tried the brakes out and the front one wasn't working. So I was like, geez, he didn't fix the front brake, but the back one locked up. So I was like, all right, well, this will be good enough because usually people use the back brake. And I brought it to my family member's house. Uh, about a, five, six days later, they were gonna go on vacation and use this bike, so it was important. And one of my family members went and, and rode and they live in a hilly area and apparently the brakes didn't work at all. So I got a call from my, my family, you know, what do you do? Why, why would you give a bike, you know, to this person with no brakes, you know? And I freaked out, you know, because I was sure that this bike had brakes. Uh, something's got to be wrong here. And I started getting so angry. I, you know, I, I, here I am trying to do a good thing. And, uh, and I didn't think of all the possibilities, I started thinking about it more. This the, the bike shop owner getting older. I'm still not sure how this 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 happened, um, but it's probably my fault. The more I thought about it, um, I don't know if the bike shop owner heard me because he's getting older, and I just kind of listed off those three things for him to fix. So initially, I thought he ripped me off. I thought he, he told me that the bike was fixed, and you know he charged me for it. But I, I don't know. I didn't get an itemized bill. You know, and here I look, I look terrible. I was trying to do a good thing, you know, to appreciate a member of my family, take a loss on his bike and give them something just to show my appreciation. And now it almost looks like I'm, I'm trying to kill them. Um, you know, and I'm thinking about going to the back to the bike shop owner because apparently the brakes aren't, you know, they're not working at all. 
And I started thinking about this, you know, was I clear? You know, because I have a tendency to, to talk very fast and maybe I wasn't clear on it. And I started thinking about going back to the bike shop owner and raging to him and, and getting all mad at him. But this is what I'm, I, in the end, I'm just going to let it all go. Um, I'm going to try to fix the brakes and so that my family member has a, a good bike to use. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to take a loss on the brakes. I'm not going to go back and yell at the bike shop owner. Um, I'm going to take the responsibility for, I think by testing the brakes and I didn't, I wasn't on the bike. So my weight wasn't on the bike. And maybe that's, maybe I didn't do enough to test the brakes and I should have, and that, that should have been my responsibility. That's what I've come to the conclusion that, you know, I, maybe I wasn't clear to the bike shop owner and maybe I didn't test the brakes good enough, you know, cause I just squeezed them and the back one locked up and I thought that was good enough. So, you know, this is one of the examples of taking time to think it through before getting all angry and resentful, you know, instead of getting mad at my family members. Look, I was trying to do you a favor here, and, you know, this is what I get. Blame for this. Instead of doing that, instead of going, going back to the bike shop owner and just going off on him, I want my money back. I want you to fix this. I'm just going to let it go. I'm going to take responsibility for not checking the brakes, and I'm going to, I'm going to fix the brakes myself, and I'm going to move forward. And that's it. And it, just the thought of that, you know, when I came to this plan, you, you get so much of so much peace of mind. You really do. It's such a big difference. And it, I've learned to take time and think things through. You know, and not go with my that gut emotional reaction of blaming somebody or or somebody's doing this to me. And uh, that's what I see in this video. So I actually I, I really feel bam bad for bam in this video. Um, there's so much more for recovery than just not using and not drinking. Uh, about making amends and, and being your defects being taken from you. So you and every day taking an inventory of yourself you know, to, to see where, like I said, once I looked at this, it's probably me. And if it wasn't me, I'm going to take responsibility for it being me instead of going and yelling at everybody else, you know, instead of raging. And uh, right off the bat, I could feel a peace of mind. So this video wasn't too planned. I, I hope you understood what I'm saying. I hope the, the whole bike thing wasn't uh, 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 too long and you guys shut the video off already. Anyway, the links are down below. The, the music video is down below. You guys have a good Monday.